Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the iMac M1 year model of 2021, and I got a request that some people would like to see what is the hard drive speed. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to run the hard drive speed and share the uh, result with you. So I downloaded this program called Blackmagic this speed test and right here as you can see that the original um, iMac hard drive that I have I'm running on the 256 gigabyte SSD drive right so this is the internal built-in from Apple I believe they run on the uh, M.2 uh, and it's soldered onto the motherboard so let's do a speed test on it and see how fast can this get. So the first thing I like to do is to click on the wrench, that little gear icon. So, so far selected target drive. I do not have additional drive here. So this is the um, internal build of the iMac hard drive. So let's click start. So this is the right speed on the left and then this is the read speed on the right. So you would keep running and running until I press the middle button to stop it. Now the score you can see that it go up to about 1884 megabytes per second for write speed and the read speed is about 2713 megabyte per second. So it ranged between 18 to 22, 20. So I think in about 2000 megabyte per second, that would be your average read speed. Oh, sorry, the write speed. And then the average read speed is about 2800 megabyte per second. All right, so the read is faster than the write. And this is the result. So it has been go through about four or five cycles now. And uh, that would be the result of it. Let's stop the thing and then we're going to close it. And the next thing I would like to show it to you and share with you. Here I have the miscellaneous mix of files. And this folder right here contains, uh, you know, some pictures, some videos, a mixture of everything. And I'd like to show it to you what is the um, capacity. So we have about 100 gigabytes. Okay, as you can see here, I pretty much have about 839 items in it, and it's about 100 gigabytes. All right, so it's a mixture of all files in here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy and paste. So I press copy and I'm going to paste it on the desktop. Okay. And as you can see, the 100 megabytes transfer was only lasted maybe two seconds. And it did not even prompt me that little tiny window that shows um, the bar, the loading bar. Okay, let's redo it again. I moved it into the trash bin, emptied out the trash. I'll just press du duplicate. And that was how fast to copy internally 100 gigabytes within the same iMac. Okay, now the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to share with you. I have, oops, oh, sorry, I have the uh, Samsung. And this is a Samsung SSD drive, a portable SSD T7. So it has five gigabyte SSD on it. And this one runs on the uh, USB-C. Okay, on the side here, sorry if I can show it to you. On the side here, it said performance up to 1050 megabyte per second for the read speed and 1000 megabyte per second for the write speed by supported using USB 3.2 second generation. Okay, this can go up to about 10 gigabyte per second. All right, so what I like to do is, it is brand new, it's still in the box. 
oops it is brand new and everything is in a box I would like to run a speed test for you on this okay so let's go ahead and open up the thing and see what is in there so just a regular box it has the Samsung on it let me see what is in here first okay so these are a bunch of USBs uh, cables so some of these are USB-C to USB 3.0 and some of these are USB-C to USB-C okay so we'll be using USB-C to USB-C and I'd like to do a speed test on this and where is my hard drive okay my hard drive is in here and that's it alright so let's go ahead and plug it sorry let's go ahead and plug it in Alright, so I connected to this end and let's go ahead and connect to the other side, the other back of the computer. Alright, I just connected to that and right here it shows T7. Right click, let this look at the info. Alright, so the info is actually under EXT FAT. So what I would like to do is, I would like to go to System Preferences and go to This Utility and that would be, sorry, I'm usually I like to go through uh, the search by typing This Utility that way it's a lot easier by going to System Preferences I apologize on that mistake okay so I like to click view and then show all devices and here you can see it says Samsung P SSD portable SSD T7 so I like to click erase we are erasing all the content and the format would be Mac OS extended journal I'll name this as Samsung and I click erase alright so it just completed very fast that is surprisingly fast you would ask me if I want to do a time machine backup on this let's just ignore that for now double check right click I click on get info and it says Mac OS extended journal capacity is 500 gigabyte alright so it's available to use now let me double click open and I'd like to do a transfer so this is 100 megabytes uh, sorry 100 gigabytes mix of files in a folder and let's move it here copy and you can see that it is running okay so 100 gigabytes transfer speed is right about two minutes so we're gonna wait through the two minutes to be done and the next thing I like to do is to transfer 200 gigabytes and I wonder if it would show me about four minutes to do the transfer so if you remember earlier the uh, so if you remember earlier the transfer rate on the M1 sorry the iMac M1 uh, was about 2200 average is about 2000 or 2100 uh, write speed and about 2800 um, read speed per second right so um, we'll run a test on this one and see how fast it can get I don't think we might like to I don't think I would like to do the uh, the 200 gigabyte transfer 
uh, I'm just gonna use 100 gigabyte transfer so if you have 200 300 or 400 gigabyte transfer I guess you just got to multiply by every two minutes so if it's 100 gigabyte it takes two minutes 200 gigabytes it would take four minutes 300 gigabytes it would take six minutes right so you just kind of estimate it yourself in this um, in this transfer rate and and how long does it take Alright, we are almost done. I'm not sure if the two minutes is actually accurate. It has been showing two minutes since. And I did not time myself. Uh, I wasn't sure at what time. Was it 4, 4.50 when I when I start running the copy? I, I do not know. Uh, there's a time here on my top right corner. Sorry, I did not pay attention um, on that earlier. But uh, I'll, I'll trust it says two minutes. We'll, we'll wait until it's done. If you wanted to know where, where, where do you buy this uh, Samsung SSD portable drive, um, I have the link in the description below. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I got this from Amazon and I used my personal money to buy this uh, 500 gigabyte portable SSD drive. Uh, this one here is the uh, older version. I wouldn't say it's old uh, because they they did come up with the new version of the SSD the one that has a little lighting touch ID here right in the middle I think that ID is to unlock the drive now personally I do not like to have the uh, manufacturer like the touch ID or the lock on the hard drive uh, because if something happened to uh, to the drive firmware uh, you would have a very difficult time to crack or decrypt the the lock uh, and get the data, uh, if you, if you lost the, uh, the the password or the passcode or your finger touch ID, uh, you pretty much lost all your data. So I'm not a big fan of adding the stuff. I rather keep the external drive safe, uh, like you know, put it in your safe or something like that, rather than use the uh, touch ID or the uh, uh, the fingerprint uh, for for that security purpose all right let's get back to this one uh, we did run the test on the iMac drive right now we're gonna select this what we call the Samsung drive right so we selected the Samsung drive that is the target speed and let's click run all right so it's showing write speed is about 590 megabyte per second and the read speed is about 635 per second so here in the box it claimed to be up to uh, a thousand megabyte per second for read and a thousand megabyte per second for write speed and I believe I connected the uh, USB-C into the right port uh, where it says there's a lightning symbol at the end of it that is where I'm connected to so of course you would never get the exact amount of 1000 megabytes per second you get more or less around that range so um, but I'm quite disappointed not quite happy because it's only half of it uh, at least it gives me like 80 percent of of like 800 megabytes per second I, I think I'll be happy with that um, 80% of the uh, result but right now it's showing only 60% on the read result and rec about you know 30% to about 40% 400 megabytes that's, that's not what I expected but anyway uh, that's what it is uh, so just deal with it and um, 
and I like to disconnect this now Samsung okay disconnected the Samsung close this one and then reopen the black magic and let's re let's rerun again on the iMac uh, as you can see the iMac built-in drive is super 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 fast um, look at that you know 2300 megabyte per second to write and 2800 megabyte per second to write it is incredible fast uh, so fast that you know it doesn't even take, take a second to transfer 100 uh, gigabytes of file and that is how fast it is all right so this is the video I like to make for you to show the uh, the hard drive this speed test and if you like it please click the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, this was a request from one of the comments and if you have another request I would like to make that for you uh, just comment below right you know ask a question write to me um, I'm more than happy to make a different video for you um, other than that I, I ask for a small favor smash the like button and stay stay tuned so take care and I'll talk to you later bye bye